Uh, Dan, we'd like you to turn the fans on. Uh, we can see the 4B now. Roger. Uh, out of which window, Tom? Out John's looking at it out the hatch window. Roger. Yes, 4B in the TV right now. 
Uh, Roger, we got it right over the quad, the thrusters uh, there, Gene. That's it. I'll see if I can bring it in to you. Right. Thanks. That TV is uh, really fantastic. It looks like the, the dome there on the 4B is gold. Roger. Looks like we got good separation distance, no problem. Uh, Roger, it's, uh, it's, it looks like about the size of a quarter to us here, Tom. What do you estimate your range? Uh, I'd say at least 300 feet now. Right. You getting anything, Charlie? Right, Gene, that zoom was uh, real good. Uh, we have the S4B. The sun's real bright on it. How's the focus? Hey, it looks real good. That limb antenna showing up real bright. Hello, Houston Apollo 10. Go ahead, 10. Uh, Roger, I wish you'd tell uh, Dr. Von Braun, Lee James, Kurt Davis, and Rocco Patron, thanks a lot, and all the people worked on it for the great ride. Roger, uh, we're going out to the networks now. I think uh, it's probably, probably heard it. Uh, we'll pass it on, though. Yeah, it was a few, few thousand people worked on that machine, and we sure appreciate it. Roger, it looked beautiful from here. Did you move the camera, Gene? Say again? Did you move the camera? It's out the uh, hatch window. John's got it now. Okay. In fact, you can see the 4B's attitude uh, thrusters flying there. Uh, we have 4B's really good. Yeah. I'd estimate now that uh, we're a good 300 to 400 feet away. Roger. And we're slowly going away. We're starting to see one side of it. Roger. And uh, 10, uh, Houston, uh, Eagle Eyes, uh, Cooper City can see the thrusters flying up there on the S-4B. Good show. Must be about 2,500 miles away. Right. You're looking out the wrong window. I'm sure going to like Snoopy because that's all I'm going to see. Okay, I've got the 4B out my window now. Roger. Roger. Hey, Again, just as soon as the S4 firing, and because the Earth's gravitational pull is resisting this whole idea of man hopping off of our surface and going out to other planets, pulls back and slows down the spacecraft until that point where the lunar gravity takes over. Color coverage of the flight of Apollo 10 will continue in a moment. I can't even see him from here, and he must be about 2,500 miles away. Right. You're looking out the wrong window. I'm sure going to like Snoopy, because that's all I'm going to see. 
Okay, I've got the 4B out my window now. This is a picture of the Saturn 4B, the third stage of the great Saturn rocket, largest in the world, mightiest in the world, which has boosted Apollo 10 now into first Earth orbit and now the translunar trajectory. It is on the way to the moon. Moon's man's second trip to the moon. Carrying Air Force Colonel Tom Stafford, Navy Commander John Young, and Navy Commander Eugene Cernan. Okay, Houston, uh, this is CDR. I've got the 4B out of my, my window here. Roger, Tom. It's looking great. Uh, it's a pretty bright, bright network. would like you to keep the camera moving around so we don't burn anything. that camera moving around enough with a motion sickness here on Earth. <laughs> now, I don't know. It would seem to me, uh, Arthur, as I understand the geography of what we've got up there right now, the attitude of the, of the spacecraft, uh, they are flying with uh, backwards, in effect. The command module has the lunar module on its nose there. And the lunar module is back toward Earth. The command module is uh, back toward the moon. Negative, Tom. All we got is the S4B, uh, and it's uh, a real bright blob. Yeah, okay. Well, it looks like. Is your ALC switch on inside or uh, exterior or interior? On interior. You want to go exterior? Let's try that. What I don't understand is why, if they're looking out the window back toward Earth, and the S-4B... On the black uh, and white it is. Stand by on the color. We're not we seeing a picture of, uh, of the Earth in the background somewhere. Hey, yeah, that's yes, for the orientation of the vehicles, you know, now independent of the Earth, they may be pointing any which way. Yeah. It's a question of which windows are av available to them, and how long the cable they've got on the camera. <laughs> Well, the windows that are available would be windows pointing back toward Earth. That's my point. They're out, they're out ahead of the... Uh, of the they're out ahead of the S-4B, aren't they? Yes, but we don't know the attitude of the whole vehicle. Remember, they, they, they accelerate almost horizontally to the Earth as they build up yeah. speed. So they're parallel to the Earth's surface. Yes, I, I see what away. you mean. So, I mean, they're, they're, shooting, yeah. they're shooting out into space on a, right. on a tangential... Right. A tangent. uh, yeah. And, in other words, they'd have to pan left or right to get the get the uh, get the Earth. I suppose. Yaw, 90 degrees maybe. A pan or yaw around all the way right or left, which uh, so they they ain't doing for us right now. See, your at once you're coasting, your attitude has no relation to your velocity. If you know what I mean, you may be traveling oh, yeah, backwards sure, almost any sure. which way. Yeah. Well, they're going to keep on going to that. 24,000 something miles an hour, whether they're well, backwards, forwards, upside down, or, uh, and it makes yeah. no difference to them in their way. And, and the windows either. may be oriented away from Earth, too. That's right. Well, you know, on Apollo 8, as a matter of fact, you know, they never saw the moon. Quite. You know, in their entire flight, until they got actually to the moon's surface and made the, and they'd actually fired to slow down to go into their moon orbit before they ever saw the moon because they were, they were in that position, they, and, and they will be on this flight, uh, except they're planning on a, doing a little maneuvering to give us a, a look occasionally. But they were on a, on, they're on a, uh, their flight position is vertical to their flight path for this. So that when they go in that so-called barbecue mode in which they roll around uh, once every hour uh, to keep the temperature constant while they're, they're, so they're exposing all sides to the sun side. Well, Arthur Clark, thank you so much, and uh, I'm going to be seeing a lot more of you in the next uh, eight days as we talk about the flight of Apollo 10, and we all get set for Apollo 11. That 
That, uh, of course, is the moment when man really escapes, uh, I suppose, uh, from Earth when he stands on another planet. This flight paves the way. Tom Stafford and John Young, Eugene Cernan, are now on certainly one of man's greatest adventures on their way to the moon. This flight is Operation Dress Rehearsal. Uh, and that's not the formal name of it, but that's what it is. Because this flight is doing exactly everything that's going to take place in July. If all goes well, it'll go in July with this flight. Doing everything exactly on the same time schedule as the landing on the moon in July. And they're going to bring that spacecraft down to within 10 miles of the moon's surface. That's the point where the mission doesn't uh, go as the landing will, because that's as high as they go, and then they go back and rejoin the command module and come back to Earth on exactly the time schedule, so that the sun conditions, the shadow conditions on the moon's surface, everything will be as precisely like it is now as they can possibly uh, make it. This flight of Apollo 10, after a blast off this morning, uh, some four hours and 13 minutes ago, has been going with very minor exceptions, absolutely perfectly. It's going well, and Apollo 10 is well on the way toward the moon. The television color, television camera works beautifully, as we've seen. Sometime later on in this flight, we're going to see uh, the Earth and the moon with that uh, color television camera, and those pictures should indeed be spectacular. Man's great adventure. Another flight to the moon, well on the way with the flight of Apollo 10. This is Walter Cronkite at our CBS News headquarters at the Kennedy Space Center. Good afternoon. This has been a CBS News special report. The Flight of Apollo 10, brought to you by Western Electric, manufacturing and supply unit of the Bell System, as part of our continuing coverage of important news events. Next Apollo update later this evening on the CBS Sunday News with Harry Reasoner. This is CBS.